Okay, so you want to recover files from an external drive, a USB stick, or maybe a memory card. Now the drive I want to recover files from is this drive here. It's an old USB stick, and I'm pretty sure there are some files on here that I need. But if I look at the contents of the drive, there's only one system folder here, and in there there's nothing useful. Now when you delete files from a USB stick, all that actually happens is that the files are hidden, and they're not overwritten, until the space on that drive is actually needed. So there's a good chance that you'll be able to recover some old lost files on the drive. Now the method I'm gonna show you uses a free bit of software that Microsoft provides. So your first step is to go into the Microsoft Store. Now to get to the Microsoft Store, go down to your Start button, bottom left of your screen, and then up the top here, just type Store and you should see Microsoft Store appear here in the search results. So if you select it, now in the search bar at the top of the Microsoft Store, you want to type in Windows File Recovery, as I've got it there. And this is the app that you want. Now, if you click on it, I've already installed it on my PC, but you're gonna see a get button where I've got this open button. If you click on that, it will install it onto your PC. So once you've installed it, you can then click on open to open up the app and then close the Microsoft Store. Now, if the app didn't open for you, just go back to your start button and you need to search for it. So you can go to all apps and then scroll down, these apps are in alphabetical order, and there we have it under W, Windows File Recovery. Now all you have to do down here is type the characters W-I-N-F-R space, and then you need to type in the drive letter for the memory stick that you're trying to recover files from. Now to find that drive letter, if you go back to File Explorer, you can see there the drive letter for my USB stick is F. So what I'm gonna do is type in that drive letter followed by a colon, then put in a space, and then you need to specify the drive that you want to copy the recovered files to. So your recovered files are not going to appear on your USB drive or your memory card. They're gonna to have to be copied to another drive. I'm just gonna say that's the C drive, so C colon. So then you need a space and then a forward slash, and then you want to write the word extensive. Then press enter. And then it's asking you a question. Do you want to continue? You need to type Y, and then it'll start to scan that disk. Now this may take some time, so I'll fast forward this video to the point where it scanned the whole disk. Now, as you can see, it's starting to list all the files that it is recovering. And then at the bottom of the list, it asks me the question, do I want to view recovered files? So if I type Y for yes, it then opens up the folder that's created on the C drive. And in that folder, I've got subfolders for all the different types of files that it has recovered. So for example, if I go into this folder, these are all Word docs. Now, one thing to note that the documents will not have the same file names as they originally had. So you are gonna to need to look through these documents. One way around that is to make sure that the preview pane is on, so you can then quickly see what these documents contain. So I've got Excel files, PowerPoint files, and so on and so forth. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.